Hi guys, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel, Adventures in America. If you are new to my channel, my name is Jocelyn, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And at the end of this video, if you like it, please give it a big thumbs up, and I would really appreciate it. Another breaking news is that the travel ban has been lifted effective February 1st. Today we are going to talk about the new health protocols for all inbound passengers to the Philippines and this will be effective February 1st. The Philippine government has once again changed the protocols for those arriving in the Philippines due to the threat of the new COVID variant. Presidential spokesperson Harry Roque made the announcement that effective February 1st, 2021, all inbound passengers shall be subjected to a mandatory quarantine facility upon arrival. There will be no swab test when you arrive in the a Philippines. A new resolution from the Interagency Task Force, resolution number 97 has been issued effective February 1, 2021. The resolution states that Effective February 1st, foreign nationals must comply with the following requirements in order to enter the Philippines. Number one requirement is that qualified foreign nationals must have a valid and existing visa at the time of entry except those who are Balikbayan. Balikbayan can now enter the Philippines effective February 1st and they can stay up to one year but there are requirements that must be met. The second requirement is that these foreign nationals or Balikbayans must have a pre-book facility for at least seven nights. The third requirement is that these inbound passengers shall be subjected to COVID testing on the sixth day after the date of arrival. The fourth requirement is that these inbound passengers such as foreign nationals or Balikbayans shall be subjected to the maximum inbound capacity for passengers at the port of entry on, and also on the date of entry. An added procedure is that once you yield a negative test COVID result, you will be endorsed to the local government unit where you reside. For example, if you arrive in Manila and you live in Laguna, if you have like a negative result you will be endorsed to your local city or municipality in Laguna to complete your 14-day quarantine and you're endorsed to, our, to your local government unit you will only need to complete the remaining of the 14-day requirement for the quarantine. Always remember that Filipinos wherever they are in the world have the right to travel in the Philippines. Filipino nationals, for purposes of allowing entry, a passenger shall be considered a Filipino citizen upon presentation of either of the following documents, valid Philippine passport, identification certificate, certificate of requisition, retention of Philippine citizenship. Passengers shall be treated as foreign nationals if they fail to present these documents, thus guidelines on travel restrictions shall apply. Non-Filipino spouses and minor children, those below 18 years old, must be traveling with their Filipino spouse and they must secure the valid visa abroad before even traveling. So there are two requirements for this uh, foreign spouse. So if one is missing, you will be denied entry. If you are not traveling with your Filipino spouse, you will be denied entry. And if you don't secure a visa, even if you're traveling with your Filipino spouse, you will also be denied entry. So please take note of this requirement. Also, all of those inbound passengers shall be assigned a government assigned facility. If those facilities are already full, you needed to uh, secure your own stringent hotel facility and pay for your own expenses. However, for overseas Filipino workers, you are always uh, guaranteed a free uh, government accommodation and uh, food, including uh, transportation from the Philippine government. There might be more changes coming in the next few days or weeks or months. And I know I've been monitoring the travel requirements when you go to the Philippines 
in the last six months so I know there are a lot of changes that have happened before and I know there will be more changes that will be coming into the future however the vaccine requirement or the COVID passport may come into play this year we don't know but there are things that will be changing in the next few weeks or months and I will be updating you regarding these changes thank you guys for watching and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit that notification bell and if you have any other questions or comments or topics that you wanted me to research or feature in my future videos don't hesitate to post them down below and i will get back to you as soon as i can again thank you guys for watching i hope everyone is staying safe and god bless everyone <music>